this is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at right now is the Aaron quad cell. As you can see, we're at 6.7 volts, 4 amps. And it is putting out considerable amount of hydrogen. Turn that off. Show it to you again in a minute. Just putting out too much hydrogen to leave on right now. The quad is made up of four plates in the air and cell system. And I will be putting it up on the site very shortly. As you can see, it's working really well. We're talking about here 6.4 amps, uh, 6.4 volts at 3.35 amps, which is not too shabby. Now turn it off again. The quad cell is made after the Widowmaker WM cell that I have. It's on the website hydrogentap.com. I've discovered the secret of it on the WM side and it's relating over to the Aaron cell. The quad is made of four plates spaced differently on all four positions. The Aaron cell 16 plate system is spaced evenly on all 16 plates as everyone else is doing. In the beginning everyone was looking at the V in the middle of the WM cell, but that was only part of it, and we started calling it the V shape, but it really isn't. I am making a video that will go on a, the on a CD that's on the site hydrogentap.com if you're interested. At this point in time, the system seems to be producing four or five, maybe eight times more hydrogen than the other cells. It's worth looking at. I'm going to show you. I'll show you the two meters together. Back away from this a little bit. And you can see the tremendous burst of energy that comes out of there. had a number of people asking me to start measuring this and perhaps even critiquing me for not. The object of the game is to get there, to get to the end. I think if you compare the output of this, this is in two gallons of water. We're not talking about 
four or five tubes here putting out enough to to cover the two gallons. We're talking about four plates putting out enough to literally cover the whole inside with hydrogen bubbles. I really don't think I have to measure that out. And if so, actually, I don't care. Getting closer and closer to making the amount of hydrogen that we need to use. I've had a number of emails lately that are causing me to rethink the YouTube idea. I'm going to be putting all my videos up there, but I'm not going to be allowing any more comments. What I am going to do is say, if you have a comment, send it to John Aarons with an S at hydrogentap.com. That's John Aarons at hydrogentap.com. That way I can separate the email out. I won't have to put up so much with the garbage that I've been getting lately. So I'll be closing down the comment files that does not mean I don't want to hear from anybody. That means, matter of fact, just the opposite. I'd like you to send me all your comments to John Aarons at hydrogentap.com and I will answer your mail. The mail that comes to me that is not to my liking, I won't answer. And the ones that come that are even worse, I'll send to YouTube and let them decide what they can do with it. So on all my videos I'll be telling you this. You can write to me at John Aarons at HydrogenTap.com. As of this video I'm no longer going to be taking comments on the video file. For those of you who don't like that, I really don't give a darn. As you can see, this cell is really producing. I've done some other experiments which I'm going to be showing you in the next video or two, which I have or have two plates I'll be putting beside the plates that are in there. A lot of people have asked questions about it in magnetics which I've been working with. I'll show you what that looks like as well. This cell right here is really producing. I'm really excited about it. As you can see, It's only at 2.20 amps. It's only 5 volts there. And it is producing. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate. Write me at John Aarons at hydrogentap.com. Again, I'll be closing down the comment files.